All right, just got back from the Halifax Beer Fest, OC and I. We spent uh, the Saturday afternoon sampling some brews, and uh, we're going to give you the top three, but i got to tell you the little story that we had beforehand. Yesterday, got home, wasn't expecting to come down to the Beer Fest, got on Twitter and Premier Wines of Halifax here, had a giveaway ticket, and I got it through Twitter, so I came here on Friday, Friday night, so I get, got a chance to sample a lot of the beers from Maine and Quebec that we wouldn't no normally have a chance to. So I kind of did a, a pre-round of, uh, of brews. And today was a really good chance to really sample and make some final decisions on some top brews. So overall, what did you think of the, uh, of the show? Well, it was my first time at the Beer Fest. First of all, it was an absolutely beautiful day. Sun shining down, so you can't beat that. Um, the layout was nice. It was easy to navigate through, uh, through the different kiosks. Not too many people there, um, you know. Considering it was it was fairly crowded, but the lineups weren't uh, weren't anything. Uh, you, you wouldn't wait more than two minutes for, to have your glass filled of uh, one of the many different brews to try. So it was a very enjoyable experience. And compared to the Friday night crowd, the Friday night crowd was very young, very a uh, lot more people in. And we got our you know when you get in, you get your beer fest glass here, and they they fill it up mostly to here, which is enough to give you a good sample of the beer. And uh, I found that the audience today was a little bit more sophisticated, more of the beer enthusiasts than the Friday Definitely. night party crowd. Because I was hanging out in the Quebec and the main pavilions, uh, I saw a lot more people uh, not liking the Quebec beers as much as the ones that we tried today. And I think it's just more of them not being used to different types of beer because there was a lot of different types of beer, a lot of unfiltered beers, a lot of higher alcohol percentage beers. If you didn't taste anything that, that resembled Keese or Molson, you probably wouldn't like it. No, definitely not. A lot of, uh, a lot of very interesting uh, tastes, um, a lot of, uh, actually I, I'd say a predominance of IPAs throughout all the booths. Um, pretty much every uh, microbrewery and certainly every different pavilion had had uh, you know a few IPAs to sample from uh, and in general they were absolutely stellar and we definitely got a chance to try some of the more local newer local breweries like Hell Bay Brewing from uh, Cherry Brook and Akadzi Brew from uh, the Moncton area they were here on Saturday only and but we overall tried a lot of IPAs and uh, Let's, uh, let's give our, our top three list of, uh, of the brews that we found today. Absolutely, and in, in my case, I, I have to admit that uh, I'm partial to IPAs to begin with. So, uh, you know, obviously they dominate, uh, they dominate my top three. However, um, my, my top pick is certainly not an IPA, so that was, uh, that was interesting for me. Um, my, my number three uh, uh, beer was from Maître Brasseur in Laval, Quebec. And it's their version of the IPA. It's uh, what I would describe as a pretty classic IPA. Nice hoppy taste to it. Uh, very full taste. It was absolutely beautiful. It was one of the first beers that we tried. Um, so for it to stick in my mind for all that time is, is quite a testament to its taste. Number two was from Maine. And it's from Baxter Brewery. And it's called the Stowaway IPA. And I, this one really um, was a surprise to me. It had very, very intense floral, very intense perfumey taste with a nice clean finish, nice hops at the end, but really what dominated was the perfumey taste, which uh, was very, very pleasant to me. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, but uh, really the one that stood out for me uh, was from Ontario, and it's a Hawaiian-style pale ale. Um, for, for some reason, the uh, brewery name escapes me uh, right now, but it was uh, absolutely amazing. Um, the, the pineapple taste, because it's actually brewed with pineapples, which was uh, really interesting. Um, you, you actually, that's the first thing you taste. It's um, the, the vague sweetness, but the pineapple taste, the, the exotic taste is there, but then it, it has a really refreshing, smooth finish, just, uh, just clean, dry, moderately hoppy but not too much so but it was uh, it was really fantastic taste and that is the spearhead brewery from our that's right that's right so that is also a pretty good beer uh, i had a quite a different list but definitely the baxter uh ipa stowaway the stowaway ipa yeah. i like that a lot nice color to it 
nice complex taste to it, nice bitter finish, really enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, the other one which uh, I enjoyed was from Quebec, it was uh, from uh, à la Brie du Tempête, Comte de Brume, which was a 9% strong beer aged in oak barrels. Uh, very nice, uh, had a nice smoky caramel kind of taste to it, I really enjoyed that one. For a stronger beer, I really like that one a lot. And uh, the third one was, uh, was the Matre Brassa Pale Ale that uh, OC mentioned at the very beginning there. So very nice, very complex flavors to it. Uh, stayed in your mind throughout the show. So that was a very good beer. And that one's available at uh, Premier Wines here in Halifax. That's right, everybody's right. locally checking that out. So exactly. that's good stuff. So we, we checked out mostly the ones that we couldn't find at the NSLC for obvious reasons. So it's yep. a pretty good show. So. Anyway, uh, definitely uh, if you're in town uh, next year, give them a try. Also, definitely. also check out some of the more private uh, wine and spirit uh, resellers here in town. They probably will have uh, some of the other brews. Right. But, so, but other than that, it's a great day here in Halifax.